hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanya Gray. Um, some of you know that I make custom wood orders uh, for a living, that's what I do. And sometimes I get cup orders or t-shirt orders. So since I don't make those things regularly every single day, um, I don't have all the supplies that someone would have that does do those things every single day. I have some really good friends that make cups, so I don't make cups because there's a, there's quite a few people that do make them. I shouldn't say I don't make cups, I do make cups, but not on the same scale that they do. So my, my niche is more um, woodwork. So uh, I do wanna show you how you can epoxy your mugs or your tumblers without having a spinner. You know, the people that are are the real the real deal they have a machine that will spin it for them like this um until it cures until it dries until the epoxy is dry or even if you are someone that's gonna do cups full time for your little side gig or your your main hustle and you don't have a turner yet so you can use this method uh to get your to get your epoxy put on your mugs so this is just a spare one just an extra one that i had that's been kicking around on my desk so we're gonna use this one I take newspaper and just a tube it can be a, a newspaper or this is a vinyl Cricut vinyl tube and I stuff um, newspaper around it so then we I've got a grip on this right here I've got my epoxy mixed up and I'm just gonna start at the top I've got quite a bit of little um, blurb here at the top, a little indent right here. So I just kind of filled that and we're just gonna take our glove and work it down the sides this way. Just like this. It's weird that I'm not watching what I'm doing. Normally I would be looking at what I've got going on but I want you guys to see it. Okay, you just keep doing that same thing. You don't want it to drip. So you want to like, you're gonna have excess that falls off as you're doing this, unless you do it in smaller chunks and you can do it however you want. Just make sure that you've got control over the epoxy and make sure that you've got something below you newspaper or a work area that you don't um, particularly care about and you're just gonna do it this way okay I've got some over here on this side that I'm working with Also, you know, the, the people that make the shirts, the t-shirts, um, they have like heat presses and they just have the equipment that it, that it takes for somebody to produce those items on a much larger scale than I do. I just, I like making the cups, um, but not as much as I like making the wood items. And I really like that my friends are able to make those cups and make a living off of oops make a living off of doing the cups as well I also mixed way too much epoxy you guys um, <laughs> I just mixed way too much I'm just working in thin layers here same thing so I was using an epoxy before Christmas, I used an epoxy. I don't even, it, I feel like it was a, a Minwax epoxy. Is that right? Now, don't quote me on that because I don't want you guys to not get something if I'm not sure what it was. Anyways, this particular brand, now I wish I knew what it was so I could tell you to not get it. But it, it very much could have been, there could have been several reasons. It could have been I didn't mix it right because anybody that knows 
sometimes epoxy is really finicky and if you don't mix it right um, it doesn't set right but usually that that leaves you with like a sticky um, a sticky finish but this this is different this was like flaky it was like flaking off so I I I used it on a cornhole set and I used it on a couple of cups and it just like flaked off and it had to have been that can it, you know what it wasn't an epoxy that you mix so it wasn't my fault um, it was an epoxy that was it, it was like a polyurethane so this is a little bit different stuff and it was min wax okay mm. so it wasn't my fault for mixing it was a, a min wax like polyurethane that I don't know I don't know if it was expired I don't know if I like left it out in the cold or the hot or I don't know but it definitely didn't set right so I had to redo a couple of cups and redo a cornhole set because of it I don't know if you guys can see this it's it's very even just like this it's gonna be a nice shiny glossy smooth finish and I think it says that this will cure in 48 hours four to eight hours and I think that's pretty typical on most epoxies that I've worked with but I really like to let them sit for 24 hours. And I still tell people, you know, to hand wash their cups. I don't want them running these through the dishwasher and having something bad happen. Plus it's a coffee cup. I don't, do you guys wash your coffee cups? Like wash them, wash them? We just kind of rinse them out. I mean, unless they're like yucky. But our coffee cups that we use every day, we just kind of rinse them and go. I like it. It looks nice. And I even had a part, because this one was just kind of a, a blooper that was sitting around on my desk, there was even a part on this chicken that kind of poked out a little bit on the vinyl that I don't see anymore. It all looks nice and smooth. You guys can see my, you see my studio lights reflecting in the chicken? Yeah, buddy. So you don't need one of those turners. If we if we were using a turner, the concept would be it would be slowly turning and we would do that exact same thing that we were just doing. We would just use our fingers and very like light, thin coat go over it and it would just turn and turn and turn like this um, until you wanted it to be done. And I mean, if you wanna do it this way for a minute while your epoxy kind of settles a little bit, I suppose you could do that. Um, I don't have time for that. I, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff going on. Can you guys see that I only have mascara on one eye? I hate my eyelashes, you guys. They're so Long. straight. What? Okay, I have to go to the store with Dad to okay. get stuff for yourself. Okay. Is that your side okay? Mine, but you shoot off. Okay. Make sure there's kid. All the kids are inside, please. Yeah. They're gonna go get some stuff for supper. I don't know what else to talk about. Use your epoxy, use your favorite epoxy. This, this, your favorite epoxy. This isn't like a video I would normally do. Um, even though I would like to do these videos, it's just kind of hard for me to video what I'm doing because my wood projects are very, like not one day, you know what I mean? Like sometimes one day I'll cut the wood, one day I'll sand it, one day I'll put everything together, the next day I'll paint it, the next day I'll um, frame it, you know what I mean? So it's really hard for me to do my wood stuff, but this was just a little quick uh, DIY that I figured would be useful. It was useful for me. I was able to find one of these videos when I first started using the Cricut and uh, wanting to make some extra money and didn't want to spend money to, to either buy a turner or make a turner. Are they a good investment? If you are gonna be doing this like regularly, sure. But if you're just starting out and you don't have the money for that, this works just as well. It just um, is gonna require a little bit more of your um, 
I mean, physical ability. You know, you have to hold it. And then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with it. I'll put a picture right after this of where I'm gonna put this because I mean, it's not like I have a special holder of the paper towel that's got my cup attached to it. Um, I have an acrylic paint like rack that has all my acrylic paints in it. And I literally am just gonna prop this up in that acrylic paint holder and let it dry overnight and call it good. That's what I'll do with it and I'll put a picture right after that. Anyways, I hope you guys found this useful. If you did find this useful, make sure you give this video a like and uh, check out my other videos. Maybe, maybe we will have some other things in common. So there's that. I mean, I'm a mom. I've got lots of dogs. I like to save money. So go check them out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.